Elvis Presley is often referred to as the king of rock and roll and regarded as one of the most significant cultural icons of the 20th century. He was born into a very poor family, and by the age of 21, he had fulfilled the American dream and had wealth beyond his dreams. Once Elvis said, I suppose the most important thing in a person's life is happiness. But does popularity mean happiness? When the 23-year-old Elvis Presley went to the army, his fans cried. What's more important, his mother worried a lot. He said, Mama worried that I wasn't taking care of myself. The army aggravated the situation. Gladys, who was always fighting with her husband, was left all alone with her worries. Elvis served his country as a regular soldier instead of in the special services, where he would have been able to give some musical performances and stay in touch with the public. In order to maintain his career, Elvis recorded some songs in advance. Record-breaking vinyl discs were still released during the two years he spent in the Army. After four months of service, the terrible news came from Memphis. The life of the pop icon was changed. Elvis's mother Gladys was in critical condition. Completely broken by loneliness and constant quarrels with her husband, her body could not cope. Gladys went to the hospital and never came back. Hardly asking for permission, Elvis went to his dying mother. Two days later, she passed away. It was announced that the immediate cause of her death was cardiac arrest. In fact, she was killed by cirrhosis. It wrecked Elvis. During the funeral, he fainted several times. Almost immediately after returning to the army, he was transferred to East Germany. He received some privileges. Elvis, his father, and others closest to him moved into the elegant hotel Grunewald. Articles about wild parties which Elvis had held in his hotel room were in all the newspapers. But was everything as fun as it was written in the headlines? He would often write in letters about how homesick he was, how desperately he missed his mother, and of how his fears about his career still clouded his mind. Introduced to amphetamines, Elvis became practically evangelical about their benefits. Years later, he confessed, truth is like the sun. You can shut it out for a time, but it ain't going away. Meanwhile, at home, new records continued to be released. Every day, the popularity of Elvis increased. He not only retained popularity, but also multiplied it. Even those who previously despised Elvis became his fans. And at this controversial moment in his life, he met his future wife, Priscilla. When they met, Priscilla was only 14. She was 10 years younger than Elvis. In her interview with Good Morning Britain, Priscilla said the music star was in the midst of a particularly vulnerable moment in his life. Witnesses recalled that the pair were practically inseparable from the first day they met. Elvis had probably survived the death of his mother thanks to Priscilla. Who knows? Anyway, stunning fame waited for him at home, but his popularity didn't bring him happiness. Especially moving into Graceland, he already had his inner circle, and of course they, em they embraced me, but I never realized that that was it. I mean, he didn't really go out, he didn't, he didn't go out. Priscilla realized how much of her formidable years as a teenager she missed out on, and decided to divorce Elvis to find out what the world was like. He was left alone in his big house. He realized that he had lost everything that really mattered. Suffering high blood pressure, liver damage, glaucoma, and an enlarged colon, Presley died of a heart attack in his bathroom. His body pumped full of prescription pills. Love me tender, love me true. Thank you. Never let me go. Thanks for watching. Click on the OSA icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel.